Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling, so we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct the market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. The Scottish army has been rallied by recent victories against the English. Situation's starting to look up. Did you know that there are three different modes for the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen? Hmm? You can show only military units or only resources and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the minimap. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally has another relic Rob and the English have captured. Rob Good! You have a relic! Protect the relic in the monastery by right-clicking the monastery. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your arm. Perfect! You now have one relic garrisoned. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. Farms are a good source of food once you've exhausted forage bushes and animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, then right-click a farm. Kid. Rabuga. You've reached your allies' town. Go inside and see how his city's doing. Your allies' gate will open automatically yeah. for you. Welcome. If you've oh. come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Oh. Cart. It's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, the yellow plier, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your allies. Uh, to trade, you'll need to build a market. Kid, Bonit. Rabwiga. Kia. Bonit. Bid fear. Yeah. To. Bid fear. To. To. Don't cut. You have a market. The market can create trade cards to generate extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small fee. Click the market, then click sell food for gold. Bargara. Uh. 
Scrub हो गया Scrub हो गया Scrub हो गया You now have two relics garrisoned. Bring back one more and you'll be victorious. Bid fear. Bid fear. Bid fear. Forgera. Bid fear. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they're created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. Bid fear. You can use the technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. We have enough soldiers now to think about attacking the English and recovering their relics. If you're getting ready to attack the English, I can help you out. Here, take this food and wood.
Nienige. Theodike. Rob Wigger, Rob Wigger, Rob Wigger, Bouge. a trade. If you click the trade card on your allies market, you can make extra gold. Your trade card will automatically make trips between your and your allies market.
Bonnet, bonnet. Nian again. Thank <laughs> you. 
هي بونج رابوية Nianaga, Nianaga, Bonid, Rob Wigger. Рабоги. Beat fear.
Our love. Oh. Relics. With the three relics now locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers and knights of our own with which to meet Longshanks. We march south to Falkirk where we will rendezvous with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. 